Watch me go from my silk press to partial curlage on one side, then both sides, then in full curlage before applying product to style my wash and go. Hi everyone, this is Avena. Again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Embrace Natural Beauty, where it has been my goal to share with you simple tips and techniques that have been helpful to me in my very own natural hair journey, which has been just over five years, that have helped me to maintain my hair, to keep it in good condition and to retain length, which was always my goal. And I want all of you who watch and who follow me to better maintain your hair, to keep it in good condition and to retain length if that happens to be your goal so that you enjoy your hair and embrace natural beauty of your own. Hey guys, so it's back to the curly, yes. And this is actually day five of my first wash and go since that silk press that I wore for four weeks. And in this video, you're gonna see what I did was a live broadcast of me reverting from the straight to the curly on both Periscope and Facebook Live. And then I also used a separate camera to record in high definition for this specific YouTube video. But because it was on a side angle, it's more to the side and the periscope camera was right more direct so i'm going to open up with a full frame of the periscope video and then i'm going to move that to the side so you can see in high definition in full frame and you'll see the quality difference um, between the two and uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video I also want you to know that you can find a link in the description box below for the entire discussion that i had either on facebook live or on Periscope so you can view it on your computer just as you would in a YouTube video. So I hope you enjoy this video today. I have had my hair in a silk press for four weeks and one day. <laughs> for the entire month, just about the entire month of January, I've had my hair in the silk press. And so what I did was I prepared my hair. I already detangled uh, the other three sections. These are all detangled. And so just to do one live on the scope, so it gives people time to tune in uh, in case, you know, people are doing things. I wanted to give you guys a chance. Hearts, people. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the last section that I didn't detangle yet. So I'm just going to go ahead with my fine tooth comb and detangle because we know that once my hair gets wet, it's going to start to curl up. Actually, it's going to wave up a little bit more so, but it's going to curl up too. And so you want to get rid of those shed hairs. It's the shed hairs that are causing us all those tangles. And even though my hair is straight, I get tangles, you know, when I go through here. Not as much as when the hair is curly, obviously. But um, I do get tangles because it's the shed hairs that are causing all those tangles. Bring back curls! And every curly girl who wants to, you know, remain curly and only does this every now and then, really looks forward to seeing those curls come back. So like I said, I'm always, I always start with this side. So I'm gonna go ahead, and this is just plain water by the way, and it's, and it's uh, room temperature, room temperature water. So let's just go ahead and start spraying. And remember when it was styled, it was styled with silicones. So it, you know, I don't know how much powerful how powerful the silicones are now, but I still need to clean my hair with sulfates after this. And um, I was going to share this in my YouTube video when I put it together, but I'll tell you guys now, I truly attribute my scalp not bothering me to the fact that I had used um, sulfate shampoo to clean my scalp. I've been doing that lately. I've been using sulfate shampoo to clean my scalp. And then because I had done that protein treatment, I used, um, I clarified, you know, so many times trying to remove that, that, that protein treatment that I had for, for 10 weeks. I know you all like, ooh, I hope her hair curls up because it sure enough was straight. <laughs> so, <clears throat> why aren't you doing a wash instead of spraying with water? Because I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Because I'm doing this for you guys. Yep. Sulfate shampoo get gets such a bad rap. Not from my channel. Not from my channel. It has its place. And just like with anything, you know, you have to do things um, responsibly. You know, you could do anything that's supposedly good for you. You could do it too much or incorrectly. And you don't have any benefit from it. So... 
It's not like sulfate is completely bad for you. It's just, you know, if you were to wash your hair every day with a sulfate shampoo, you'd have dried out hair. But if you wash your hair every day, if you wet your hair every day, that's too much manipulation. It's too much water, you know, even water, the most natural substance in the world can dry your hair out. <laughs> so it's just understanding how to use things. It's not that things are necessarily so so good or even so so bad it's just understanding how they should be used ah <sighs> good lord <laughs> this is not my typical spray bottle either but it'll work it'll do you see how skinny that that water is coming out like e -e -e. Starting to wave up, right? Starting to wave up. I had a big spray bottle. It'd probably wave up a little bit faster. And that looks a little dry. So what you're seeing is actually the change in texture from my normal porosity, which is in the front, to the lower porosity, which is toward the back. And it does look drier, and it is considerably drier, as it does not um, receive as much moisture as the normal porosity here. All right, now. All right, now. This could take a while. <laughs> it sure could. Oh, hang on a second. I just realized my towel is over there. It needs to be over here. I have hardwood floors. They're going to be suck, suck, suggy hardwood floors if I don't put this towel down here. I got so into talking to you guys, I forgot. All right, so that's starting to do what it's going to do. So now I'm going to go on this side, and then the rest of this, like I, like the other lady said, why aren't you just washing your hair? The rest of this, I'm going to do this in the shower. But I only do the front. <laughs> Start to see what's known as shrinkage. As I remember someone had asked me, she said, when you're in the shower, your hair stretches but when I wash my hair it shrinks why why doesn't it stretch why does your hair stretch and mine doesn't I said because mine is coming from a, a shrunken state already so when I put water on it it's actually it's elongating but right now my hair is stretched it's straight yeah curlage curlage it's straight so no hydrothermal naturals this time no I just decided to do straight water because um, for a couple of reasons you guys know I did a protein treatment that had been impacting my hair for like 10 weeks. And so, I'm trying to get as much into the sh shot as possible. And so, um, yeah, I already have enough protein going on here, so <laughs> I just figure, let me see what my hair is going to do with just plain room temperature water. Uh, the reason she's asking me about Hydrotherma Naturals is because in the previous video I put on YouTube where I was reverting back to my natural hair, I actually showed how I applied the Hydrotherma Naturals protein treatment. It's a liquid uh, treatment to my hair prior to, um, to washing it. And so I'm going to provide a link to that video as well as a link to the treatment that I was talking about. I did a video on that as well. So both links will be in the description box below. Goodbye, Silk Press of four weeks. <sighs> Whew. Wow. <laughs> Look at your shrinkage, girls. Yeah. My arm is getting a workout over here. You said you'd been using sulfate shampoo, still do a Veda damage remedy? Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person who, um, my shrinkage is so much worse. <laughs> it's gonna keep shrinking up. It's not done yet. It's not done. Um, I like to, there we go. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Shrinking. Um, I like to, you know, make changes subtly. So, you know, I've been gradually um, building in the sulfates into my regimen. 
because Damage Remedy, which I have lovely used for at least four, four and a half years as my main shampoo, is a mild shampoo that does not boast or claim to be sulfate free, but it happens to be sulfate free. And so the only thing that I used to struggle with um, was my scalp, which used to bother me. My scalp used to, you know, be a little irritated. That's why I would, you know, gladly wash my hair every week. And my scalp really needed it. And so like last year when I tried to go for a long period of time with a silk press, you know, my, my scalp would actually bother me. Um, <laughs> um, so this year, since I started using the sulfates, you know, my scalp has been so much better. Um, and it's important, you know, you do want to make sure your follicles are, are clear. You don't want to keep your follicles clogged by just using sulfate-free shampoos. And so my shampoo was pretty good, but my scalp suffered. And I'm so thankful to, uh, to be aware now that I needed, you know, my shampoo to actually contain sulfates, even though I thought it did, because I don't know all the names of all the sulfates. I just, you know, assumed when I first started using that as a new natural, that my shampoo was just a regular shampoo. Um, so yeah. I, I still use it. I haven't thrown it away. It's been good to me, but I use it to clean my hair. <laughs> Not my scalp. <laughs> so it's catching up. This side is catching up. Look at this. I told you. I told you it was going to keep shrinking. She's like, ooh, that shrinkage is not bad. I said it's not done. <laughs> Same for me. Since using sulfates, my scalp has been better. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so we are no longer, oh, I just sprayed myself in the eye, no longer so pressed. <laughs> All done, except for the back. <laughs> Hello in California. Shadana, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am reverting back to my curly hair. And right now it's just bushy curly hair because it has no definition. Ohio says hi. Oh, hello, Ohio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, so I'm still shrinking. The incredibly shrinking curly hair woman. That's me. <laughs> so this is the fun part. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and <laughs> hop in the shower and actually clean my hair and I will record the rest of that for uh, for my YouTube channel so you guys will get to see the rest of the process it just will not be live that's the only difference so I wanted to share this part with you guys have any questions about the reverting before I, I tune out any questions about this it's going to take nearly another three minutes before the right side of my hair catches up to the left side of my hair as it continues to curl <laughs> and so I continue to uh, conversate with the ladies on uh, Periscope and Facebook who were asking questions about uh, the shampoo I plan to use that contains sulfates. I have a couple of shampoos. I'm sorry, I'm all in the light. I have a couple of shampoos that I use um, that, are, that contain sulfates. One of them I've shared before. <clears throat> is from Aveda. Hang on a second. Excuse me, Facebook. It's from Aveda. This is brilliant. This contains a sulfate. And um, hey Gail. It's Teresa from Columbus, Ohio. This is one. Another one is the one that I shared with you ladies. Um, the, co the company, the brand that I use in the salon is LRC, which is what which is what I'm gonna use today. Hang on, let's see. Oh, definitely going to use this today. Get my silicones off. <clears throat> so this is the one that I use on my scalp. This one right here, um, the Complete Cleanse Shampoo by LRC, which is Lawrence Ray Concepts. And 
then this is actually the moisturizing shampoo that goes after it. And I'm going to explain this to you guys more in detail, but I actually spoke with the owner because he's like, why are you ordering so many products and shipping into different places? I had a giveaway recently and all of my winners, it was 14 other ladies, I shipped you know, a, a set of these shampoos to you guys to, to reset your hair. I told you, this is what I use in my salon. But it's only sold to professionals. So I placed the orders and I had them all shipped to them. And so the company was like, Abena, why are you purchasing all these <laughs> shampoos and sending them out to different places? So um, I asked him a question. You missed the giveaway. <laughs> So I asked him a question about, you know, or we were talking about the shampoos, and I said, well, both of them, you know, contain sulfates. And he said, no, uh, only one of them contains sulfates. The other one, the moisturizing shampoo, the label is wrong. So the label says it contains a sulfate. I know this is crazy. This is crazy. But it does not. So it's a moisturizing shampoo. It's completely sulfate free. So I'm going to be using both of these today when I wash my hair. And, um, and so those... Those are two sets of uh, of, of um, sulfate shampoos that I've just now shown you that I that I like that I use. I have dry hair that I want to address. I need to take care of all this back here. So we continued to chat on the scope for an additional 20 minutes or so. By this time, my, the front of my hair was dried out. I had to put it up. I don't like my hair to sit out and just dry without any product on it. So just to kind of protect it a little bit, that's what I did. But I'm taking it down now. I showed the, that the back is still soap pressed and that I need to address that, which I'm going to do in the shower and you'll see how much quicker it is uh, to revert. So you can see how much I shrink and this is coming from the back. So. <laughs> You can see it from there. <laughs> so um, I will be recording this for YouTube so you'll be able to get to see more, more detail. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening, ladies. I really enjoyed sharing this portion of the night with you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Periscope. And in between then and there, see me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube at Embrace Natural Beauty. Have a great night, everyone. Love you all. Good night. So now it's to the shower to complete reverting of the back of my hair. So I put the front of my hair up and out of the way. And now I'm going to use my, my hose to spray down and wet my hair, or rather saturate my hair, which should take on, um, should happen much quicker now. Much more water and more force applied to the hair. It's still straight. <laughs> it's not even waving yet. But that's all right. That's all right. It's coming. And so overall, I couldn't really tell from the beginning how long it was going to take. But technically, it took less than two minutes. It's just harder to tell that it's reverting when the water is still uh, flowing on the hair. Right now, there's um, there's a little bit of wave happening. So it hasn't reverted yet. There's just a little bit of wave happening, but this is only one minute in. And when I turn around, I can see there's more uh, little waves happening. So in just a few more seconds, it should totally be um, fuller and uh, have some, some curl to it. And I let this play in real time just because, you know, this is the part of the process. We like to see how long it takes for the hair to go back to the curly state. And I don't like to, to skip over anything. I want the hair to fully revert in front of your eyes and you can see what my hair was doing and how it was responding to the water. And so I'm feeling it. It feels a little bit fuller. Um, I still don't. I can't. I can't really see the curls, or I can't really see the waves too much. So that's why I'm pulling it um, apart like like this. And that's how I can better tell. It's feeling a little bit heavier and fuller. And so by this time, I think, yeah, it should be fully curled. So I'm going to take down the front, and when I take the front down and wet that up again, it pretty much matches the back and that way I know it's fully uh, reverted. See how it matches the front and the back match?
Great, so now I can go and style my hair. And so to style my wash and go this go around, I decided to do the shingling method. Um, but you see the portion that I'm starting with right here? This is where I'm shingling. The portion below uh, in the back is all rake and smooth. So I'm just doing shingling from that point on. And when I did the shingling technique on that wash day, I, I did the shingles or I did the curls really very skinny. Um, and I just made I wanted to have more volume because I had been looking at previous videos and say oh look uh, if I make it um, if I make the hairs or the curls really skinny I'll have a lot of volume right so this is how skinny they were <laughs> in the back and then also in the front I did pretty much the same thing look this row right here I think I got like I don't know maybe 13 so that's one two three four <laughs> five six Nope, not skinny enough. Six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven curls out of that row. That's a lot. And then in the front as well. Um, look how many little ones. I'm gonna do one, two, three. Nope, make that four, <laughs> five. Six. See, just ridiculously skinny. So probably about ten up in the front as well. So then the outcome, uh, it looked fine to me um, when I began to to dry my hair. I sat by the an overhead. I sat by the overhead dryer. So I diffused um, with the overhead dryer first, and then with my handheld um, uh, blow dryer with the diffuser on it. This is the result. Look how skinny they are. Sure, a lot of volume, but a lot of skinny pieces. I did not like this at all. <laughs> I did not like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it felt. So I knew the very next day I would be redoing this. It had nice movement, but I just really didn't. It wasn't. So here I am uh, I'm an hour before my regularly scheduled uh Periscope broadcast, Periscope and now Facebook broadcast. And so all I'm doing to refresh this wash and go is simply um, wetting the hair because the product was freshly applied the day before. So it was still, it just came back to life. And uh, this was now me uh, after the Periscope broadcast. It had air dried on the, on the show because um, I was talking with you guys for an hour. My hair was air drying and then I just finished up by diffusing the roots right here. And so once I was done here and I felt my hair, I was like, yes, this is, um, this is pretty much now I'm back to normal. See, look how happy I am. <laughs> now it's still the shingle method, but the size of the curls is more in line with what I'm accustomed to. So I'm very, very happy. And this is day five of that wash and go. So now up next, um, I'm so glad a number of you had asked me to show you how I had been maintaining that silk press for four weeks. And so I, I put this video up on Instagram after the third week and it went viral. Um, as of today, this video has been viewed on Instagram over 194,000 times. So when you get a chance, go check out my Instagram page, check out this video and see how many views it is up to by now. But as of the recording of this video, it was 194,000 views. So thank you for asking. And so I am going to show you a more detailed version. I'm going to put together um, a YouTube video to show you guys how I had been maintaining it over the four weeks that I kept this uh, silk press and had gone to the gym a couple of times. So you will be seeing that. And then also um, a number of you, I had owed you this for some time now. I've still been working on this project quite extensively, but I wanted to share a video, uh, an updated version uh, talking about shampoos and conditioners. So here I have a whole bunch of shampoos and conditioners that I laid out on the counter so I wanted to give you guys an update uh, on some of the things I've been talking about lately and how you can incorporate uh, clarifying shampoos in addition to moisturizing shampoos into your regimen so I will be talking about that in another video that I'm working on right now as well whether you're wearing your hair straight or in curly state stay connected with me on my various social media platforms and remember you can chat with me live on periscope on monday evenings at 8 p.m eastern standard time you can download the app onto your smartphone and follow me at embrace and beauty to get the alert when i'm broadcasting live I'm also broadcasting via Facebook page Embrace Natural Beauty so if you are following me on that page when I go live you will receive the alert. And as always thank you so much for watching.